Yo, what's good? It's Soul Entertainment TV, and as you can see, I do not have my webcam on, and uh, usually you guys uh, should know by now. Uh, if I don't have my webcam on, I'm probably going to be doing something that doesn't require webcam. And 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 what I'm going to be doing today is um, I'm going to be looting first of all, and I want to I want to see if there really is a difference between the northeastern zone. And the southeastern zone. Everybody talks about, you know, go to the southeastern zone. It, 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 you know, you get so much better loot at the bottom right hand corner of the map. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up a looting map, and I'm going to explain why I am doing this. Give me just one second. Okay, so you guys have seen this map before. Um, you know, I've, I've showed it in a couple of my other videos, and if I zoom in right here, let it, you know, you know, focus. In this white area, this gray area, it says a slight increase in loot quality. In qua if, if I could say quality, I'd really be on a good on a good track right now. Slight increase in loot quality and extreme risks zone and caution. Now, it's for level 45 plus, which means if you are above level 45 or you are level 45, you can find anything. Um, Ace Barrels, uh, you know, Tatakal Reactives, fucking Scar 9000, Vulcans, anything. As long as you are 45 or above uh, and you are in this zone. Now, if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the map, this is obviously the area that people are talking about. This little white area right here. And most people typically, they're in this area most of the time because it has the hospital uh, which provides plenty of loot spots as well as the bunker that is down here and then a one door barricade so that way you only need one wooden plank. Now as you can see up here it is pretty much the same uh, kind of concept. It, you know it's got the white area. Now this is very close to second on bunkers. You can see second on bunkers right here and this white area is uh, where I am at currently. This is where I am at right now. It's got the hospital and then it has a supermarket or a mega mart, whatever you want to fucking call it, you know, from wherever you're from. But this is, uh, it's got this uh, little mega mart and then the uh, hospital. And I'm going to try and make this as close as I possibly can. I'm going to try to hit every loot spot uh, that I can in these one little one by one areas. There's going to be slightly less loot spots in this one compared to this one just because of, you know, the bunker and the hospital being there. There's going to be a plenty, you know, a lot more loot spots, but I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody that they're wrong. You know, everybody has their opinion on whether or not you should be looting in the southeastern zone or whether you should be looting in the northeastern zone or you should loot wherever the fuck you want to loot. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. Wherever you want to loot is wherever you want to loot. Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't know the exact percentages. I'm not a fucking, you know, I don't have any insider game knowledge on this shit. This is just, I'm going to loot. Uh, and based off of the loot that I get from the northeastern zone and then the loot I get from the southeastern zone, you can make your own decision on where you want to go. Uh, usually I do go down here, uh, to the southeastern zone just because it has that one door barricade and, um, and plenty of loot spots. But if you're, you know, if you can only play for like half an hour or so, we're going to see if it is a bad idea to go up here. I mean, like you can loot wherever you want. It's really not a bad idea unless you're fucking level 100 and you're like looting over here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if, if you only have so much time, this might not be as bad as a, of an idea as everybody claims that it is. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm going to mute my mic and you guys will be able to listen to some music uh, that I will put on. And I will probably speed up the uh, recording and then I, I won't accept or decline everything that I get right away. Uh, just so the way you guys can see, uh, you know, what I'm getting. Because if I speed it up and I... I decline it right away. You won't be able to see what it is. So, yeah, let's get started.
So, uh, it's already pretty long. The video is about 30, mm, roughly about 37 minutes. But uh, it takes a little bit more time for me to sit there because, you know, I have to sit there for a couple of seconds with the loot so, the guy, so that way you guys can see what it is. Uh, so, we left with $12,866. And we are going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to scrap everything that is scrappable. Uh, you know, so red bandana, the wooden axe. And that's about it. We will go, let's go and see, uh, so all of this stuff over here. Now, all of this stuff is for my other account. You know, my heavy, heavy grenades, I need that for my other account. But, uh, just for the sake of keeping it even, I'm going to, uh, see how much each of these costs and then I will add them all up to see what what we got so heavy grenades right now I should probably write this down because I want it to be the same I don't want it to be like I don't want heavy grenades to go up or down in price give me one second let me open my uh, notepad okay so it looks like heavy grenades about 12,000 right now uh, for well I probably should do it like this heavy grenades 200 count for 12,000 okay and then we will do let's do 10 gauge ammo as well so about 19,000 for that if you sold it for max price obviously you would probably try to uh, you know get you would probably try and sell it for less but um, you know we're just gonna do we're gonna do max count uh, 19,000 currently for that. Dried truffles, uncooked. Because the cooked ones are going to be more than the fucking uncooked ones. Okay, so 4,500 for the dried truffles. I believe we found one that I took. I believe I already had one on me. One count gonna be 4500 I keep forgetting that fucking comma well it's definitely not forty five dollars forty five hundred okay so now we need twelve point seven so for six hundred uh, we're just gonna do the the max stack six hundred it is sixteen thousand for the 12.7 what did I say? I already fucking forgot 16,000 right? yeah okay then we got whiskey and I will add this all up uh, off screen whiskey one count what was that? 2,900 Steroids. Three thousand, and then what's left? Eight B, and then we'll do fourteen millimeter. I'm not going to do the nails or the wooden planks because they're fucking, you know, whoever sells those. So for six hundred count for the fourteen millimeter, fourteen millimeter, six hundred count. It was, what was it, 16, 17,000, 17,000, and then the Narratonin 8B, that is 3,000, okay, I'll add this all up uh, off screen and I will be right back. Okay, so I did all the math uh, for everything, and before I get into how I did it, uh, I already added this into the total, so we got about uh, 80 some odd thousand from this, and then once you added this, it came out to $120,888 in total. So essentially what I did is, you know, you, if you have a you know, 200 count grenade is or you know, heavy grenade, it'll give you 12,000 just well, if I my calculator will click on 12,000 divided by 200 is 60, so you get 60 per unit roughly, uh, and so I have 521 times 60 
comes out to 31,260. And um, just to make sure everything was right, I did uh, 200 times 60, which is 12,000, as you can see. So, um, and, and, and that's what, I mean, that's what we had uh, for the heavy grenades. And I, and I listed everything under uh, what it should be. You know, so it, it, it's 12,000 there, and then, like, we'll do something that isn't quite the exact bullet count. So if we have 612.7, uh, you, well, you know, we'll do, it comes to 16,000, so 16,000 divided by 600 is 26.6. .6, roughly all these other sixes aren't really <laughs> needed. Uh, so that means that for 511 times 20, what did I just say? 26.6? .6? What the fuck did I just say? Yeah, 26.6. .6. Comes out to 13,592. So if we go in here and we sell this for 13,592, it should come up just below anything that was worth uh, the 16,000 that was in there. See how this is worth 1599, 16,000. And this is right underneath it, so it's as close as it um, as it can get. Uh, so roughly, you know, based on everything that we got and the prices of the market right now, uh, we made twelve thousand or twelve thousand, one hundred twenty thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars for the northeastern zone. Now I'm gonna walk my fat ass all the way to the southeastern zone. Uh, I won't be recording that because then this fucking video will be three hours long. But uh, I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to loot, and we will see uh, what the difference is. Okay, now we are back. Um, actually, give me one second. Okay, so as those of you, you know, who watched the beginning, I assume you made it this far. Or, well, if you made it this far, you watched the beginning. But I was up here looting. Uh, now I am down here. This is exactly where I'm at. Actually, I'm probably, like, right here. Right here is where I'm at. So I'll be looting the hospital, Sekernon Bunker. Well, it's not Sekernon Bunker, but it's a, it's a bunker. And then um, I would be barricading myself. So I'm going to loot two buildings. There will be, a, you know, a couple more loot spots than the previous one. Uh, just because of the bunker here, it has more more spots than the supermarket did in the other place. But that's besides the point. Um, we're going to see if I get anything good while looting here. And then this probably isn't the only experiment I'm going to do. Uh, because like with any scientist or anybody who's trying to prove something or disprove something, you know, you want to do one, two, three, four experiments, you know, just to make sure that the uh, outcome is the same for each experiment. So I'll probably upload a couple of these. Um, if you guys watch all of them, uh, I appreciate it because I, I know it could seem, I mean, I know you guys want to see more looting videos and, uh, and whatnot, but it can seem kind of boring that I'm just kind of comparing the two, but there is still looting in it. So, um, it should be okay. Uh, I don't know if all of the other videos will have, uh, music in them and sped up. I might just talk through them. I am not sure, but as of right now. I'm going to mute the mic and uh, get looting, and I will put some music in the background for you guys to listen to.
Okay, so I got a security error. It's probably because I have $6,662 right now. 666, you know, the devil watching you at all times. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot the first two floors, considering I was just about done with the second floor, I believe. I can't quite remember. Um, I was just about done with the second floor. Get your bitch ass the fuck out of my face. I'm going to loot the first two second, uh, or the first two floors. And then I'm going to skip over to the uh, second on bunker and uh, see what we get from that. record button uh, so I accidentally stopped the recording while I was asking anybody if they wanted to donate my ass an X uh, an X grand or a long shot 
Uh, so I guess I will do the rest of this just, you know, talking and, 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 and whatnot. Um, so far, I mean, I don't want to be biased or anything, but it seems like uh, that Southeastern Zone is probably going to win this battle. Uh, you know, there will be more battles in the future. Uh, you know, you know, as you know, not a, I'm not a scientist, but you know, like scientists, they they you know, you want to prove something over and over and over again to make sure that it's you know that it's true. It's not like a one-time fucking fluke or anything like that. So, um, I probably don't even need to do a calculation, you know, for how much I made. Because uh, chances are I, I probably made quite a bit just with the lootable stuff alone. And I found more ammo than I did last time. Uh, and, and like I said, it there's no guarantee that I hit the exact same amount of spots that I did when I was... Fuck. Yeah, there's no guarantee that I hit the exact same amount of spots. Um... But just in general, you know, I, I found more weapons. Granted, they're not great weapons. They're not great finds. But I have found more items than I would have or that I did in the Northeastern Zone. So, um, in that case, there, you know, this place is definitely, uh, as far as I'm concerned, with this comparison, is better, uh, you know. I've just found more. I'm even at almost twenty thousand fucking dollars. Um, so, it, it, I like I said, I don't want to be biased. I don't want to sit here and say that it is better because you know, it could be a one-time thing or or whatever. I could have just had really bad luck in the northern northeastern zone. Um, but it is. It I am doing better in this area. Uh. I had to use a, you know, I had to clear up my inventory a little bit, which means I had to use a little bit of the uh, Neurotonin that I had found. Um, but I will, like I said, I don't even think I need to do a comparison, uh, considering it, it, it's pretty obvious that this area so far has been uh, better than the other area. But um, I will try to do the best comparison that I can uh, I can't leave those behind. I mean, just in heavy grenades alone, I found fucking so much money. But, you know, I'll do the best comparison that I can. I I, I guarantee you I found <laughs> more money, more, uh, you know, shit that was worth money in this area than, than the other area. Anybody who has made it this far, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know I say that like every episode, but it's because I, I, I really do appreciate it. If you, you know, if you make it this far into my videos, you know, you, you, uh, deserve to be, to be considered like a, a true fan, true OG, you know, somebody who's been here since the beginning and somebody who will continue to be here throughout the course of the channel. Um, and I really do appreciate it. It gives me a reason to do this. Now, let's see. I didn't think I had to use that much narrow in AB, but apparently I did. I don't want to get rid of any of the nails, anything like that. I just have so much on me. Do I have to eat? No, I don't have to eat. Okay, well, that's what we'll get rid of for now, then. Because I definitely want to pick up this 12.7. You can't just leave behind that much 12.7. You know what I'm saying? 466 bullets. Can't leave that the fuck behind. And I, I do have the I have the same stats that I uh, that I did beforehand. You know the seventy five percent, which I mean as you can see it really doesn't help you out that much. Uh, it's not like because I have a seventy five percent extra chance. It's just fucking like I find everything that I ever wanted. Yeah, that's not 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 how it works. Oh my god, what was that six hundred and eighty eight bullets? Can't leave that the fuck behind. I mean, even just the amount of bullets you find in this area is just fucking nasty. I I mean, I don't think I had to do a video like this. I think that the general senses, um, census, 
uh, for Dead Frontier is, you know, go to the southeastern zone. You'll find a lot better stuff there than in any other area. But, I mean, you know, I, I you just got to test it. You know, somebody's got to test it. I don't know if there's any of these videos online uh, on YouTube or anything like that, but I mean, there will be now, uh, now that I'm testing 140 fucking heavy grenades, oh my goodness, uh, oh my god, 656, 12.7, I can't leave that behind, I'm gonna have to scrap something, or I'm gonna have to discard something, I don't even know what I'm gonna discard, I probably don't need so much 10 gauge ammo on me, considering I only really need it for emergencies. But, I do have a lot on me. I also have a lot of 14 millimeter on me. Oh god, I should probably go and barricade something. But I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. Oh god, I'm gonna have to discard that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to somehow get that back into the count uh, when I go and I do the equation. Equation. Uh, when I go and do the math and all that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to add that back in. But, I mean, i got to get rid of something. That Hawk OP-96, by the way, I, I, I found that while coming up here. Uh, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to loot one fucking thing and see what I get. Uh, and, I found, and it was the Hawk OP-96, so... I did not find that while looting in this area, so it will not count uh, as part of the overall uh, loot that I got. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I wasn't even looting that. The whole fucking time I wasn't looting that. I was like, what the fuck? Something's taking a long-ass time. Now, I was going to go uh, fight the Devil Hound. There was actually a Devil Hound in the area uh, before I came down here. Because I do want to get the X Grand. Uh, I have a couple of Devil Hearts as is right now. Um, I actually have a video of me killing a uh, Devil Hound. I know one of my subscribers, they messaged me and asked me if I had ever killed one. So, I mean, like, I've killed a couple... Uh, mostly in the wasteland, I killed them. I don't, I don't, I haven't killed too many of them outside of the wasteland. Um, but I have killed some. And I will probably, oh shit, my gun didn't fire. Uh oh. See, I just kind of lays the gun down like that. Whoop. No, I don't want you anywhere fucking near me. <laughs> I've seen that coming. Uh, yeah, I'll probably... Any Devil Hound footage that I can get, I will I will definitely upload. Uh, because it is interesting to fight those fucking things. And the people I was fighting it with are fucking just moronic. I, I, I actually can't believe that fucking hit me. That scared me. <laughs> uh, I wasn't playing with any of you guys because you guys are... You know, usually pretty fucking good players, uh, a lot better than I am. But I, the fucking, I don't know who these people were that I was that I was fighting with. But uh, they, they, I had the the uh, fucking devil hound behind a wall, and I was just grenading the shit out of him. And then they dragged him from behind the wall into the area, and he killed like fucking four people. And I had to fucking bounce and then come back to the wall to get him stuck behind it again. And it was just like, who the fuck are these schmoes over here fucking up the whole system? Okay. Boink. 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 What do I got? Aggro? It wouldn't be that bad. If I had an aggro spike right now. I mean, I've been uh, I've been shooting this fucker off and, 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 you know, really, I've been looting for a minute. So, if I had an aggro spike right now, it wouldn't be... Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, I was expecting to have a couple uh, before now, but, but as as you guys know, you know, rifles, pistols, melee. Uh, I mean, other than melee, rifles and pistols are pretty silent. Obviously, melee is completely silent. Um, 
but yeah, you know, it, it, you can you can shoot off quite a bit before you uh, before you attract any serious attention with a rifle or a pistol. Um, and if you're you know if you want to be a looter, I highly recommend doing that. I mean, you could run and gun it, but I mean, you're you're probably gonna get spilled all over the floor. Um, Cause in my experience, especially in multi fucking player mode, it it, it it doesn't work out the way you think it's gonna work out. You know, you want to fucking you want to kill something, and 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 it either has an infinite amount of fucking health for you know fifteen seconds or whatever the fuck it is. Cause admin swears up and down that there's no server sync issues, but there there very much is. Um. Uh, you know, so you have those sync issues, and you could be fucking shooting something a hundred fucking times, and it won't die, and then you'll stop shooting it, and then it'll fall the fuck over. Uh, so that really doesn't help you to have a machine gun, you know. I mean, I would recommend, like, see how I, I've got the machete for complete silence, the rifle for semi-silence, and then the shotgun just for pure crowd control in case, you know, they do start running at me. And uh, I'm surprised that they haven't yet. It's quite interesting because uh, like I said I've been looting for a while now it's probably been about 40 45 minutes for you guys it's probably less time than that because I, I will speed up the track um, so the way you don't have to sit here and fucking watch two hours of looting because uh, that's probably how once I combine the videos that's probably how long it will be because um, I had to you know had to walk around all the places, and then I I, I kind of sit with the uh, with the loot on the screen. I sit with it for you know a couple of seconds instead of just automatically accepting it, uh, so that way you guys can see what it is. Because if I you know if I put four times speed on, you know I I have to at least leave it up on my screen for four seconds in real time, so the way you guys have at least a second to see what it is before I just fucking pick it up. So what's cooking? Good looking. I can't hit you, are you fucking kidding me? Whee! Yeah, so I, I want an X grand, but they're fucking expensive. Uh, you know, just to, uh... Okay. Now I think things are... Things are picking up a little bit. Which is fine. I'll handle mine for a second with this rifle, and then if I need to, I'll uh, I'll switch over to the the shoddy. Don't you fucking do it! Oh god, I was reloading. I didn't realize I was like my gun won't fucking shoot. Okay, I take care of that problem with the rifle, so the way I don't have to fucking deal with any more aggro than what's already on me. I got a couple of zombies that look like they want to fucking eat my asshole, and then a couple that are just, you know, chilling like villains. Oop, excuse me. Okay, let me take these guys out so the way I can just go about my day and loot things, and these guys won't have to fucking follow me around. Alright, <clears throat> got a couple of dogs that, that aren't too happy with me, which is fine, because I don't like them the fuck either. Come at me, bitch. Oh my god, there's so many dogs around here. Well, I guess it's because they look at all these fucking kennels. These are kennels, right? Like, they keep dogs the fuck in here. That's what they look like. They could be, like, big air conditioners. Like, you know those air conditioners you see outside of churches and shit like that? Well, they're like fans. They're not really air conditioners, but... And I guess they could be they could be outside of a normal house. <laughs> I think my grandmother has one outside of her house. I, just, I usually see them at churches because I like to creep around churches because I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, what else do we got? Whiskey, drinking whiskey out. Fuck you. I'm surprised. I didn't find uh, as much as I thought I was going to find in Sekernon Bunker. 
And I don't care what anybody else calls it. I'm calling it Sekronon Bunker because that's, that's what it looks like. And that's exactly what it is. It's just not an outpost. It's a fucking looting area. Okay. Fucking lick my gooch. Oh, I think that's it. So I'll go make a barricade and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I tallied everything all up. I went on to a website to see how much these would scrap for, because obviously since I made my own outpost, I can't scrap them. But I know how, how, I trust the website I was on, and I know generally how much they scrap for. You know, this one's 20000 uh, and et cetera, et cetera. The website is right here, actually. Uh, I'm sure most of you know it, and I did it for the katanas and then the headwear, because I wasn't sure exactly how much the headwear was, but... Um, that's how that worked out. So we came out with 270,526. And then I did everything up here. So from the southeastern zone, I found 600 uh, heavy grenade ammo, as you can see. And then I just, I kind of went through, added it all up the same way I did last time. And this is the calculation I came out with right down here from just the cash that I found and the scraps. I made, now the scrap isn't including the Hawko P96. I didn't add that in there because I didn't find that in that area. But I made 95,000 from that and then I added the 31,260, or not that one, I added this one, the 36,000 to this to get 131,000 and then I did the 12.7 and the 14 millimeter and the Neratone and all of that is down here. And then I added it all up, and it came to 270,526. So this is what I got from the northeastern zone. And then this is what I got from the southeastern zone. So there's a pretty big difference. It's over double uh, what I found from the northeastern zone. But like I said, this isn't the only video I will make of this because, y you know, you, you want to do things multiple times to make sure that everything was right. Um... And even though I, like, I drank the whiskey that I had and, and whatnot, that was still a part of what I found. Um, I just had to drink it because I had to get rid of something in my inventory. And I understand, like, yeah, you drank it, you can't sell it. But that's just how I'm doing it. You know, I found it from that one, I found it from this one, and that's how that's going to be done. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um... I can't wait to do another one of these. Uh, maybe the Northeastern Zone will win next time. Maybe it won't. Uh, but as far as this video is concerned, the Southeastern Zone was better. Um, so if you guys enjoyed that video, if it helped you at all uh, to make a decision, uh, maybe you're a newer player and you don't know whether or not, you know, everybody says loot the Southeastern Zone and you don't know if it's worth it to fucking waste half an hour of your life just walking down there. Um... As far as I'm concerned, at least with this video, it is. So you make your own decision. Uh, maybe walking all the way down to the southeastern zone takes too long for you, and you would rather just walk the couple of blocks up to be in the northeastern zone. And uh, maybe this price difference doesn't mean anything to you. Um, but for people who barricade down here and play down here consistently, this is a big difference. You know, 270000 to 120000 that's a that's a big difference. So um, and then again, it all depends on the marketplace. But I just used the same same thing I did with the other one just to make sure everything was balanced. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, and if this helped you make a decision with uh, whether or not Southeastern Zone is really worth it, um, then uh, be sure to definitely leave a like on this video. What the fuck am I? What am I doing with my life? Uh, what the fuck is my outro? I'm 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 drawing blanks right now. I need to drink some of this water. It's fucking ah, If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, definitely leave a comment positive and negative doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. Uh, and if you enjoyed that much and you can't wait to see more informative videos that I might post in the future or anything I might post, uh, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we go to find it every time I upload a video because you're not gonna miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.